I am First Lieutenant Ted Harkness of the 163rd Combined Arms Battalion based out of Belgrade, Montana. And our office is just dead. For some National Guardsmen or those in reserve, getting a job and transitioning into the civilian world can be tough. In the military, it's very disciplined, very structured. You know exactly who you're answering to and on what matters. But when you go to the civilian world, especially in a lot of today's team-based environments, that's not the case. For a specific project, you may be answering to three or four people independently. Not only do service members have to adjust to different work environments, they also have to learn how to translate their military skills so their civilian employer can understand. And rewriting a resume to not be military-based, because we use a lot of acronyms and terminology that the average civilian would have no idea what we're referencing to. It's a process of the Guard and Reserve, the service member understanding how their valuable skills can translate to the civilian environment. He's very detailed oriented and you have to be very detailed oriented when you work in the business services division and a compliance officer where you're checking forms and, and making sure that things are filled out correctly. And today First Lieutenant Harkness took his civilian employer Linda McCullough for a spin in a M1A1 Abrams tank giving her an inside look at what he does at his military job as a guardsman. In the past I've not had a much opportunity to because of I have still have my daily duties as to my employer of doing my job, being able to take the time out on the day that she says, sure, let's go do it, is great for me. It was very fun, but it was also very educational. I really like to see him in his role in the military. In Helena at Fort Harrison, Amanda Rowley, ABC Fox, Montana News.